Alright everyone, today's going to be another absolute beautiful day. It's supposed to be uh, lower mid 80s, no humidity again, a little light breeze. Uh, we got about half a dozen or so lawns to take care of and maybe a couple of uh, shrub jobs that we got to do uh, to help fill in our day. So let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Okay, we're getting a few yards cut today. Three to be exact, yeah, a few. Um, there was a question asked to me yesterday why I'm not cutting yards anyhow, even though they're not growing very much, and why I'm skipping over them. Uh, I'm gonna pull up to a yard here we have not cut in three weeks. And I'll show you how uh, brown it is. Oh yeah, we, oh, there's weeds back there. There's weeds back there, but this is what the yard looks like. We have not been here in three weeks. We have just a couple weeds and that's it. You can still see my tire tracks from three weeks ago. Same thing with that yard, one right next to each other. They have not grown at all. So and this is the boulevard area and that's, it's, it's just not good. One thing we will be doing here starting next week is we will be doing all the shrubs in every one of our yards that we have shrubs. Which I believe we have about 20 yards that we're going to trim shrubs on next week, starting next week. So that right there is the reason why we're skipping over these yards because uh, there's nothing there. We'd leave tire tracks, even more tire tracks in there and then would be there the rest of the summer. And uh, just want to note to say that most of the lawns in this area are all sand, so there's nothing to hold the water. It just it just goes. If it rains, it just runs everywhere. It doesn't soak in the ground. Yeah, well, actually, it does soak in the ground, but it runs right through the ground into yeah. the sand. Yeah. So uh, we're at our next yard. There at. Uh, cutting the weeds because the weeds are really really tall but uh, that's all we're doing with this and again we'll be starting to trim the shrubs here probably next week and then that's usually when we do is uh, second or third week of July is when we usually start cutting or trimming first all the August. shrubs or first of August somewhere in there but anyhow uh, I'll have to cut this yard
Okay, this yard here has been three weeks and we will not be back for about another month. Well, we'll probably be back for that because we had to trim all the shrubs and everything. But usually it's every three weeks now. Yeah. And uh, I won't know what's uh, what uh, is on the beginning of the video or middle of the video with that uh, with the neighborhood kid there, but uh, you'll see it. Or uh, you've already seen it, I guess. Um, he, he come around flying around the tree and seeing the cameras sitting there and i don't know what he was doing in uh standing in front of it but if it's not inappropriate i'm gonna i left it in there but if it was inappropriate it's not in there so um like i said i don't know what's on it i won't know till i get home 
<laughs> it happens every now and then. I thought I'd leave it in there. He uh, was just he was just kind of curious what we were doing. He was watching me weed whack, and <laughs> he was just he's just a kid. He just wants to know what's going on. So I don't know what it is, but I'll find out when I get home and then. He, went, I edit. he was happy anyways. Yeah, I'll he find wasn't out. Wasn't a crabby kid. <laughs> So, okay, on to the next yard. Okay, we just got done cutting another yard full of weeds and dust. And I saw one of our friends pull up uh, block down the street there, another lawn care company, and I'm gonna stop talk to him for a minute to uh, see how his month is going, I guess. Yeah, his about long hair's going. How his long hair's going for the month, I guess. So, uh, we're gonna go talk to him. Okay, okay. we just got talk done talking to our buddy there. He's like us. Mowing weeds, eating dust. So, uh, it's... And the uh, effects of sore throat, itchy eyes, swollen eyes. And going by another house that we normally cut, and there's five weeds in it. We it's all not, burnt. And it's all burnt. We haven't been there in three weeks, I know for sure. So, uh, the yard we're going to next is, uh, they pay by the month. And, uh, we, it's our... It's the only yard that we have that pays every single month. And no matter how many cuts we got, you know, we have to cut it at least twice. And uh, this is the nice first time that we're cutting it this month. So, and then we're supposed to get rain starting tomorrow night. It's supposed to be like a 24 hour rain, which I hope it is because we need it really, really bad. And then when that lets up, we needed to do it two more times. I don't think that part's going to happen, so uh, on to the next yard. Okay, we're going to go cut our last yard, and it's not even lunchtime yet. So, that'll be what, six yards? Six yards, done by noon. So, yeah. Six yards, and then uh, after that, I'm going to drop the trailer and uh, pick you off and everything, and uh, i got to go spray some weeds. But anyhow, um, when I was talking to my friend there, he owns Gravely. He bought a brand new Gravely. This year was it? Mm -hmm. yeah, it was this year. And his mower broke down uh, about 100 hours or less than 100 hours, something like that. And the dealership left him, wouldn't help him out. So they wanted to charge him, they wanted to charge him 100 bucks to come pick it up. And he was broke down on the bottom of the hill, from what he says. So. Um, doesn't matter what brand you have in our area, dealerships they don't care about you at all. All they care about is the sale, and after they get your money, they don't care. So, we're still looking for a dealership to help take care of us, and we're hearing of one possibly. But, uh, don't know yet. So, uh, we're gonna go cut this last yard now and uh, eat some lunch. There's uh, pretty burned up in most spots. But uh, we got some taller weeds here, and it's too long in the back. And this is the yard that was cut way too short by the neighbor. And if I remember, I'll put a link up in the corner there. But uh, it's been since that video to now, since I went in to cut this. It's been about a month. And we're done with the yard. Turned out a little bit nice. Still battling with what the neighbor did. But um, we won't be back here for at least three to four weeks now. And Vicky's finishing up in the back there. Look at that dust. Oh, and all those fuzzies flying around. Oh yeah, the cottonwood is just uh, now dropping everything. So we got more white fuzzies. Ah, that's nice. Cottonwood. That's a little weight, late, late, isn't it? Cottonwood? Yeah, isn't that usually late. fall in June? Yep. Oh, brother. Yep, so anyhow, that was our last yard for the day. Uh, we're gonna go drop, or actually the last yard to cut everything for the day. So we're gonna go drop the trailer off and I'm gonna pick up some sprayers and go spray a bunch of weeds after lunch. I'm gonna do that. But. Yeah, the leaves are already falling too. A lot of leaves are dying already. That's kinda early too for that, but. Yeah, real early for that, but I think we get a little, quite a few leaves that drop during the drought area but or drought season and that's what we're in right now so uh, I guess I'll get back with you after lunch
Okay, ate my lawns, dropped Vicky off. I uh, just sprayed one of the buildings and now I have to go spray the other one. The other one's gonna take uh, quite a bit. I have probably uh, oh, about seven gallons of uh, weed killer left on my truck and I'll use it all up in that one building just because it's got weeds everywhere so it just needs to be taken care of. And uh, I was gonna go golfing today but uh, just, my buddy can't fit it in today so I guess I have to go for a motorcycle ride this afternoon and enjoy the nice weather. It's like 75 degrees, something like that. Humidity's a little bit high, but when you're on a motorcycle, it doesn't matter. So off to the next yard. Just finished my last uh, little spray job there on my yard there. Um, pretty nice though. And uh, it looks like it's gonna be even nicer here in the next couple days when we start getting some rain. Because uh, they keep adding to what's gonna happen. Originally it was 50% uh, rain and 70% rain, and now it's uh, uh, thunderstorms, rain and thunderstorms. So that'll bring us a bunch more rain, I hope. And it hopefully it'll last uh, like about 24 hours. So that'll get us out of this uh, really, really dry spell that we're in. So it just it makes it uh, makes makes things for a little bit nervous for uh, us lawn care people in this area. I just talked to another friend of mine and he's doing shrubs and mulch jobs, which we're going to be doing the shrubs next week, but uh, he's only got uh, a few more to go, I think, and he said he's done with them. And that's what he's been doing all week is the shrubs. We were lucky to have a bunch of yards, but not as many as we'd like to, but we still had some yards. So uh, that is going to be the end of my video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. You can check out the links in the description box below. We greatly appreciate those links helps uh, support our channel. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you at the next yard.